Hey everyone, welcome back to Sammy Mora FX and welcome back to day 18 of the £50 to £50,000 Forex compounding challenge. So today I have finished trading and I managed to close just under 7%. Um, I think it was like 6.8%, so 6.8%. So another pretty decent day, right? Um, today was actually quite an interesting one. It was one of the first days I didn't use BSB zones and the reason for that was Simply, there just wasn't a BSB zone to trade. Okay, there, was one, there wasn't one available. However, I did have a strong bias that we were going to be bullish today. And obviously, the bias turned out to be correct. So I knew I wanted to buy. And I was basically picking any good opportunity I could see to buy based, again, on delta volume. Okay, so delta volume. And using the trap set up all right so you're gonna see a few interesting trades um really not much more to say however there was one part where you'll see how the sellers really tried to push the market down and absolutely failed in the process and the buyers almost immediately with almost hardly any aggression were able to push the market up clear-cut sign that we are not breaking below that level for the rest of the day so let's go to the chart and let me show you how I did today. Okay, so I finished trading for today. I actually finished quite a while ago, uh, but I had to do a few things so I couldn't um, record right off the bat. But if we go back to where I started trading, so today I finished, closed it just under 7%. Um, so these are all the trades I've taken. Let me just make that a bit bigger. As you can see, quite a few trades, a few little stop outs as well. But ultimately, close to balance at 12.35, obviously minus the commission, which is £8.95 um, profit. And you can see mostly all buy trades. So I had a bias that were going up today. Okay. So I was only really looking to buy. I did enter a few small sell positions right at the beginning. But I very quickly realized now we're, we're definitely going up. Okay. So let's crack on to the first trade of the day. Now, Interestingly enough, today, there are no BSB zones available, really. Okay, so if you actually look at the four hour, uh, if I go to the four hour chart. So this is obviously today, these last three candles, right? Um, there is nothing, no BSB zone. The next BSB zone, really, because we're approaching new highs that we haven't touched since... Uh, since May, right, there's, there's really not much, you know, for not much to reject at the moment, if that makes sense, for it to start coming down. So that really gave me, okay, we're going to go to this BSB zone here, and this long downward trend, right, there's a clear BSB zone. Once that, once we reach there, it's not going to reach it today, I don't think, um, but once we reach there, yes, we'll be looking to short the market. But in the last recent price action, we've been going up. I think it's going to continue going up until we get to that area there. But this is a long, a big zone. You know, this is probably how many pips are we talking here? Let's just do a quick measurement. Um, yeah, this is like 200 pips. Do you know what I mean? So it's a huge zone. But around this area here, we'll be looking to go down. But it's not going to do it today. OK, so my bias was to buy. Now, I did, uh, where is the first trade? So it was actually a sell trade. Oh, yeah, here. Okay, my bad. So these are the first trades I took. I tested the market. I saw that, okay, this could be a potential trap set up, higher delta, and it was going red, this candle, and you see the sellers are stepping in. So I entered, but I only entered one position because I wasn't that confident, Okay. Yes, I got stopped out pretty quick. It started pushing down, so I said, okay, let me enter again. I entered another sell position, got out a small profit just because I could see it, it just wasn't pushing down. Then I said, right, we're, we're going up. We're gonna start buying, only looking to buy today. Again, I literally switched my bias. As soon as I got out that one, I got back in, but this time as a buy, closed out at the high here, cool. Here is where I got stopped out three times, sadly. My, 
decision was correct, but I did get stopped out. You can see we push down again, high delta to the sellers, okay? Instantly start reversing. I entered one, two, and three positions to go up to this high again. I did get stopped out by this clear stop hunt, very clear. Instantly start reversing again, right? I jumped back in, but this time that just confirmed my bias that we're gonna go up even more, this stop hunt here. So I entered one, two, three, four, five positions. You can see how when I'm confident in the trade, I pile them on. When I'm not confident, I might only enter one to test the water, see how it responds, right? Wasn't that confident here. I only got in, you know, one trade. The more confidence I have, I pile them on, all right? Five trades, boom, 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 as we went up, got out at the high, consolidate for a bit, and then look at these sellers stepping in. Now, I thought this is another clear trap. So I got in for a buy, got stopped out, got in for a buy again, got stopped out, got in for a buy again, got stopped out. So I waited. I said, okay, let's, let's, let's really wait until we see the, the buyer step in, right? And this is again where we see the buyer step in, okay? You can see now this is the first bullish candle after look at these heavy deltas, 211, right? The sellers are really trying to push the market down, but they just couldn't at this point really struggling to push it down. I was a bit early here, you know, a bit preemptive, but here is where I started seeing it. Okay, now, now the buyer's gonna start stepping in. Again, they tried to push it down one more part, one more time, I bought again. Again, I bought again, three positions piled up. Okay, so as I was editing the video, I noticed that the screen recording cut out, so I'm just quickly gonna finish explaining. Um, Obviously my take profit were these highs here. It did eventually reach it, but I chose to get out here because they just weren't that aggressive. And you can see this long wick. So while this candle was forming, it was going up and I was like, oh, this is good, this is good. It's gonna hit the take profit. And then it pushed down and I was like, oh, then it pushed down. And I can see there was a lot of resistance here. Um, eventually they did come in with some aggression and managed to push it to that take profit, but, uh, yeah, I chose to get out while I was ahead, but this is a clear cut sign. I mean, look how much, look how much Delta, look how much volume required for the market to push down, right? So much volume for the market to push down, whereas to push it up like nothing, right? Hardly required any Delta. Okay. So you, you got to ask yourself in that situation, would you rather be a buyer or a seller? And it's clear as day, of course, you'd rather be on the team that's winning, right? The team that have, has it easier. And that's why it made it very clear we are going up for the day, at least for a long time. And you can actually see, if I draw a box in this area, we've never gone back to this area. It never allowed these sellers to get out, basically, right? Complete trap, right? We have just, you know, continued shooting up for the day, you know? Now it's consolidating, obviously, but never allowed these sellers to get out, right? So, yeah, I mean, it's clear as day. You can't have it much clearer than this setup right here. This was beautiful in the way it looked. All that delta to push it down, hardly any delta required to push it up. That is a clear-cut sign right there. Hey, we are going up. You do not want to be shorting this market. But yeah, that's pretty much it for today. Those are all the trades I took. So like I said, £8.95 profit. The balance now stands at £143.46. So I wanna thank you for watching. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Make sure to turn on channel notifications so you don't miss any new video in this series. Um, we're doing pretty well so far. We're, you know, breaking almost basically at 200% profit from our original balance. So we're making good strides in 18 days already 200%. That's pretty damn decent. I think uh, most investors around the world would be pretty happy with such a return. So, you know, keep, keep watching, subscribe, turn on channel notifications. I wanna thank you again for watching and I'll see you again very soon. Take care.